Hi people, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karva and in this video lecture, I'm going to talk about research process. We've already discussed research methodology in brief in my previous video lecture in which I gave you a crash course in research methodology. In this particular video, I'm going to focus on one key aspect that you must know about research. That is the research process. Research karni kya hoti hai? Kaise karni hoti hai? Kya steps follow karne hoti hai? Flow chart aaj hum discuss karenge research process ka. Now, any research is going to have at least eight steps and we are going to look at each of the eight steps one by one. So, let's start. The first step in any research is formulation of research problem. Now, what is a research problem? Research problem is the thing you would like to research on. What is the question which is there in your mind before you want to carry out a research on it? Now, this particular area should be of your interest. You should be extremely passionate about it. Only then this research will be fruitful. You'll be able to give your 100% in uh, carrying out this research. For example, if I am very eager to know what are the possible causes of panic attack, I should start with this research question. What is the question? What are the possible causes of panic attack so this is the first step you need to have a research problem with you aapko pata hona chahiye aap kis topic pe research karna chahte hain only then you can start with the next step the second step in research process is review of literature now what is literature literature is the theory which has been written on a particular topic for example if i want to do a research on possible causes of panic attack, I need to read a lot about panic attack before I can start with my research. So, I might need to read 5-6 good books written by great scholars about panic attack. I need to read 5-6 good books written by great scholars about panic attack. Also, I need to look at other researchers and their findings who have either done something in the field of panic attack or who have done some similar kind of research. I'll give you a very simple uh, example. Suppose you want to research on Sanjay Leela Bansali's movie and its impact on the society. So, before you begin with your research, it's important that you've watched those movies, you have read the reviews of critics about those movies, you have read interviews of Sanjay Leela Bansali talking about his movies and you have also read the research papers of other research scholars who have done their research on Sanjay Leela Bansali and his movies. This entire process of theory collecting, of reading, of conceptualizing is taken care in the second step that is review of literature. The third step in research process is development of hypothesis. What is hypothesis? Hypothesis is a possible or tentative answer to a question. अगर मैं कोई भी question develop कर रही हूँ, मैं किसी भी topic पे research कर रही हूँ, तो मेरे दिमाग में एक preconceived result होगा. Suppose I'm researching on students, so मेरे दिमाग में एक preconceived notion है कि मेरे result यही बताएगा कि अगर आप पढ़ाई नहीं करते हो, तो आपका result अच्छा नहीं आता. I am studying the impact of studies on test result. Okay, so मैं research शालू करने से पहले अपने आप को ये बोलती हूँ कि मेरी result की finding मेरे according ये होगी कि जो बच्चा पढ़ाई नहीं कर रहा उसका test result अच्छा नहीं आएगा. Okay, but suppose I do the research and I get the finding that बहुत सारे ऐसे बच्चे हैं जो बिना पढ़े भी बहुत अच्छा score कर लेते हैं exam में. Maybe because they are very observant, वो चीजें observe करके उन्हें याद करने की जरूरत नहीं होती। If you remember Three Idiots, we've never seen in that movie that Amir Khan was ever studying, but he was very observant, he was very practical because of which he got the first rank in the exam. So if you look at hypothesis, hypothesis means a tentative answer which you are having in your mind before you even start the research. Now this answer can be proven true 
और फॉल्स बाय द एंड ऑफ द रिसर्च सो हाइपोथेसिस को टेस्ट किया जाता है पूरी रिसर्च में और हो सकता है रिसर्च के एंड में जो हमारी हाइपोथेसिस है वो गलत प्रूव हो या हो सकता है वो सही प्रूव हो सो दिस इज द थर्ड स्टेप now there are different types of hypothesis there are different theories related to hypothesis we are going to talk about it in detail in our coming video lectures but for now remember that making of hypothesis or creating an hypothesis is the third step of research process the fourth step in research process is forming research design what is research design रिसर्च डिजाइन इज द मेथड ऑफ कंडक्टिंग रिसर्च आप रिसर्च कैसे करेंगे ये मेथड को हम रिसर्च डिजाइन बोलते हैं स्ट्रैटेजी क्या होगी आपकी रिसर्च करने की आई गिव यू टू एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ रिसर्च एंड यूल ऑटोमेटिकली अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू डिफरेंट रिसर्च डिजाइन वुड बी यूज द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज इफ आई वॉन्ट टू डू रिसर्च ऑन द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ संजय लीला बंसालीज मूवीज ऑन इंडियन ऑडियंस and the second type of research is if i want to know how a particular product can enhance the chemical reaction now in second case lab mein research hogi it would be an experimental research jisme main ek chemical mixture mein different different compounds dal ke dekhungi and then i'll see what reaction is taking place on the other hand संजय लीला बंसाली की मूवीज का इम्पैक्ट देखने के लिए मुझे पार्टिसिपेंट्स को लेबोरेटरी में ले जाने की जरूरत नहीं है आई एम गोइंग टू ऑब्जर्व दैम ओके जब भी कोई मूवी चल रही है संजय लीला बंसाली की आई एम गोइंग टू सिट देयर एंड लुक एट पीपल्स रिएक्शन एंड देन डेवलप माई रिसर्च सो यू कैन सी डिफरेंट रिसर्च डिजाइन विल बी यूज इन डिफरेंट types of research we are going to look into different types of research designs in our coming video lectures for now remember that formation of research design is the fourth step in research process the fifth step in research process is data collection now what is data collection hum research karte hain logo pe ya cheezon pe एंड रिसर्च तभी वैलिडेट होती है जब वो बहुत सारे लोगों पे करी गई हो एक इंसान पे रिसर्च करके यू कैन नॉट जनरलाइज दैट थिंग ऑन द एंटायर वर्ल्ड बट अगर आप एक पर्टिकुलर ग्रुप पे रिसर्च करते हो देन यू कैन डेफिनेटली जनरलाइज इट टू द पब्लिक मैं अगर 500 सौ स्टूडेंट्स पर रिसर्च कर रही हूँ एंड आई एम चेकिंग द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ स्ट्रेस ऑन द डे ऑफ एग्जाम आई कैन जनरलाइज द रिजल्ट on the entire population that means on all students i can say that if this stands true for this 500 uh, student group then it is going to stand true for all the students across the world so data collection is important aap different different students different different participants ka data collect karke you assemble them together and then comes the next step which is data analysis aapne data collect kiya by using different tools like interviews questionnaire standardized test and on the basis of that data which is collected you're going to analyze that data so aap is data ko collect karke ise excel mein ya koi aur software mein dal ke process karenge and then you are going to draw out a conclusion so the fifth step is data collection and the sixth step is data analysis collect karne ke baad us data ko jab aap systematically organize karte hain and analyze karte hain only then you can move on to the seventh step which is drawing conclusion so seventh step of research process is when you analyze the data and on the basis of the analysis you draw a conclusion so this is where you will test your hypothesis ki jis hypothesis ko leke aap chal rahe the kya wo true hai ya ho sakta hai aapko bilkul hi nayi cheez mile research ke baad pata chale aapne jo socha tha jo milna chahiye research ke baad jo output aana chahiye jo result aana chahiye wo to aaya hi nahi kuch alag hi result aa gaya so this is the seventh step which is drawing conclusion and finally we move on to the eighth step which is report findings that means you are finally telling it to the world what you have researched and what is the conclusion of your research so agar aapne kabhi thesis likhi hai ya aapne koi paper present kiya hai so this paper presentation and thesis writing comes under the eighth step which is report finding by writing that thesis you are actually 
telling your conclusion to the entire world. So now that we've understood the eight steps which a researcher must take in order to do his research, it's time to look at the previous year questions and see whether we can answer a few questions which were asked from this particular section. So let's have a look. So that's it for this video lecture. We are going to meet very soon in the next video lecture. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Press the bell icon so that you are notified every time I post a video on my channel. Apart from that, if you like this video, please give it a big fan thumbs up. Comment below if you have any suggestions, any queries or you want me to make any more videos on any possible topic. We are going to meet very soon in the next lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarwar.com.